Hi, so in video 1672, we made some biodiesel. <laughs> the question is, okay, can you put that in an ordinary paraffin stroke kerosene burner? Because, of course, paraffin and kerosene burners are all over the place. You find them in stoves like this, you find them in tin lamps, you find them in space heaters. So if we can use our biodiesel in an existing piece of equipment, well, that makes it just so much more tremendously useful. So I picked up this, which is a kerosene, kerosene stroke paraffin lamp. It's of the primus type, so fuel goes in here, pump it up a little bit, twist the valve. You've got a cup in there, you put some uh, lightweight fuel in there, like bioethanol, light it, it heats the pipe, vaporises the kerosene, that comes in the centre blower, forces it up and you get a jet of flame. Now the problem with diesels, and certainly with vegetable oils, is they're very heavy. And so because they're very heavy, they take a lot more heat in order to get them to vaporise. And you'd think the same was true, really, of our biodiesel. But we're going to give it a go and see. Let's put some biodiesel in our primer stove and see if we can get it to light. Ta da <laughs> Okay, that took quite a bit of getting going actually. Uh, it says on the instructions 30 seconds and it's off. It wasn't, okay? It took about three or four minutes. It took three or four minutes to heat up the oil to get it to do that vaporization. Then when it does that, it's kind of like a, a self-feedback mechanism because you can see that's a really hot flame. That little bowl in the centre is beginning to glow red, and of course that's a lot of heat. And now it's going, the biodiesel is vaporising, and because it's vaporising, we've got a roaring flame. So, there's a bit of a muck about, but a bit of patience with it, and you can get the biodiesel to burn in a kerosene stove, and therefore a kerosene lamp. It's awesome! Okay, <laughs> we got it to work. Now it burned a bit yellow because really there wasn't enough oxygen in there so it's a bit of a sooty flame but we did get one thing right and that is we do need to heat that fuel to get the vaporisation. Once you get the vaporisation going it's going to burn. That will happen with any fuel. It'll happen with motor oil, it'll happen with vegetable oil, anything is going to do that as long as you can get it to vaporise and that's the issue with these things. But we did learn something important and remember <laughs> We have this thing, a rocket stove. I'm thinking of constructing a burner, sticking it in the rocket stove, and see if we can make a rocket stove, biodiesel, or ordinary vegetable oil, or motor oil burner out of the rocket stove that we made, and the lessons we learned from this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.